Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a really basic health bar for your game. Um, and by basic, I mean it's just going to be a simple bar along the top that's going to fill up or decrease depending on you know health or sorry, depending on damage that your character takes. Um, uh, in a future tutorial, I will show how to um, kind of create a you know a blood effect when you take damage. Um, you know, similar to Call of Duty or you know, Battlefield and you know other other first-person shooter games. Um, but I'll also show how to kind of do an Assassin's Creed style thing, where it adds on new um, new little health slots depending on you know armor increases or uh, you know just regular health increases and whatnot. So uh, something to look forward to. Anywho, back in our project. Let's go in the content browser and we'll right click and go to user interface and create a widget blueprint. Now we'll call this health bar HUD and let's open it up. Now in here you're going to see we have this highlighted square. This is called the canvas panel and this is where we want to drag and drop all of our widgets that we want to show up on our screen. So the one we're going to use is called a progress bar. So we'll drag that drop it on here and you can see it added it to the canvas panel now. So now we can click on it and you know we can drag it around to position it wherever we want. Um, I'm gonna put mine kind of in the center. Alright. And then I'll you know resize it a little bit by dragging these little I don't know what those are called. <laughs> Just moving it. Um, and now the last thing I want to do position wise is take this little um, you know flower symbol here which is called the anchor Right? And we want to set the anchor to be um, closest to the position of our widget. So, you know, if you ever add any other widgets, you're going to want to do, you know, you're going to want to set this anchor to be as close to the actual position of your widget so that when you change screen sizes, um, it will try to stay in the relative position. So, to do this, let's go over to the details panel and hit anchors, and we're going to choose the top middle one. But you can see there's all these other anchors as well. So, anywho, top, middle, and then I'm simply going to reset all these values really quick. And, you know, you'll notice that it reset its kind of position, um, but we'll change that right here by first let's set the alignment to 0.5 and that'll center it. And then, you know, we can increase the Y to, you know, kind of drop it down a little bit. So, there we go. We've got our um, health bar positioned and um, let's actually get that to the screen really quick so you can see it. So to do that let's go find our character and we'll open up their blueprint and find some open space. Let's right click and we'll type event begin play. Now this is a, an event that gets fired whenever the game begins All right, and we're going to use this to create our you know health bar HUD. So we'll drag off say create widget then from the class drop-down, we want to click this and go to Health Bar HUD. Um, so find whatever you know widget you want to add and just simply click it. And then next we want to drag off of the return value and say Promote to Variable. Now this isn't 100% uh, necessary, but I like to do it in case you ever want to, uh, you know, kind of change up the style of your, you know, your health bar or change up different values on it um, and whatnot. So. We'll just call this uh, health bar reference, all right? And then we'll drag off of this value and say add to viewport, all right? And you know if you don't make the variable, you just drag off of the return value and say add to viewport. So, anywho, um, this little bit of logic is going to simply you know create our widget and then add it to the screen. So we'll compile and save and hit play. And then at the top there, you know, you can see we've got our health bar. But now, of course, you know, we need to add some values that will increase it or, um, you know, kind of, or that will fill it up, basically. So let's do that next. So in our character blueprint again, let's create some variables. And I'm going to call this one uh, current health. And I'll change that to a type float. And then we'll add one more called uh, max health. And compile and save and now we can give it some default values so for the max health I'm gonna set it to 100 and for the current health I'm gonna also set it to 100 so compile and save again 
And now we have some values that we can use to fill that health bar. So we'll go back to our health bar HUD, right? And you'll notice in the details panel for our health bar, there is a, um, a variable here called percent. And as it increases, you know, it fills our bar. And as it decreases, you know, it takes away from the bar. So um, this is the value that we want to manipulate. So how we're going to do this is we're going to click this bind button here and say create a binding. Now this will create a function for us called get percent, right? And it's simply going to, you know, return whatever percent value we want. So for here, what we're going to do is drag off and say cast to third person, you know, character. And then for object, we want to get player character. There we go. So now we can, you know, get those health values from our character blueprint. So for this first one, let's drag off and say get current health. And then for the second one, we want to get the max health. And the reason for this is um, we're going to need to do a division here so that we can convert these values to a 0 to 1 scale um, because that is what percentage is based in. You know, it's based in 0 to 1. So um, to do this, we'll drag off of current health, say divide, float divided by float, hook that up and then plug in the um, this node to the return value. So now if I compile and save, um, just ignore that, or yeah, just ignore it for now, you'll see that our you know, health bar fills up. So we can see that it's working. Now next we, what we want to do is um, let's you know visualize the health bar decreasing or increasing. So to do that, we're simply going to, you know in our third person character, we're going to add some key press events so that we can, um, you know, show it going down and increasing. So this first one, I'm going to right click and simply hit F. So we'll use the F key and we'll also add the V key. All right. So now for this F key press, we want to drag off and say set current health. And we're going to set it to the value of our current health uh, minus float minus float, hook that up, and we're going to subtract, you know, five. How about? All right. And now off of V, we're going to do a similar thing. So again, set current health, except instead of decreasing, we're going to, you know, increase. So again, get our current health, and we'll say plus, float plus float, hook that up, and we'll add five this time. All right. So now if we press compile and save and press play, if I hit the F key, you know, you can see our health starts to go down. And then if I hit the V key, it starts to go back up. So there we go. We've kind of got our basic, you know, health bar working. Um, I hope this video has been helpful to you. And, you know, if you like the video, like or subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.